When crisis strikes at shock trauma, it can almost feel like time is standing still. The moments pass in a haze. Voices and faces so blurred, some patients might feel like they're imagining things when they finally come to. It's very funny. Sometimes they double take and they'll call somebody else in. They'll call me in and they'll say, is that Richard Sher? But as they shake the fog, the face they've watched for years comes into focus. With that white hair, Richard Sher is unmistakable. Still, patients are understandably confused to find him holding their hand or fetching their blankets because they're used to seeing Cher on TV, not the trauma floor. No matter how many times he's been in front of the camera, it doesn't impact his ability to be a huge human being at the bedside. But every Tuesday, that's where you'll find him. Richard walks the halls here at Shock Trauma, not trolling for a story, but reporting for his shift as a volunteer, something he's been doing since retiring from TV news. I haven't lost a patient yet, I can swear. The sense of humor that made Cher a household name in Baltimore is unchanged, even on this floor, where so often the situations are dire. Richard is here to lighten the mood and the hearts of people who have unexpectedly become a worst-case scenario. Every person in here today woke up this morning and thought they were going to have a regular day just like you, just like everybody else. Life changes in a millisecond. And when it does, this team, Cher included, scrambles into action. His reporter instincts kicking in like he's chasing the lead story again. Come here, come with me, quick. Keep rolling, come here. Pick up the sound. It is the sound of an incoming patient. So, with the adrenaline pumping, details are gathered. Bits and pieces placed on a central message board so staff is prepared when the patient finally arrives. Richard and the other volunteers then do the grunt work, making sure the team is ready. From stocking shelves to straightening beds, it is a far cry from the glamorous days spent chatting next to Oprah. When I first seen him, I was like, well, I guess he's, you know, probably one of the celebrities, you know, he was going to come here and whatnot. And the next thing you know, he's in the mix of it. In moments of crisis, Cher is in the thick of things. One face in a crowd, facing down tragedy in all its forms. Now, people say, how can you stand looking at all that blood and all the bad stuff? But you know what? I saw that all when I was on the street. And though he once stood outside this hospital delivering the evening news, Cher now stands with the front line, picking up where those stories left off. His role more than an observer as the details of life and death play out right in front of him. And when a state police helicopter brings in the latest patient, Richard is there as this woman is wheeled down from the roof. He is the hand that guides and the friendly voice that calms as doctors and nurses get to work and he gets out of the way. I hope she's going to be all right. But coming here, he knows patients have the odds on their side. The reputation of this place, even bigger than the one that made Cher famous in Baltimore. The most dedicated people in the world. They will give one billion percent to try to save your life. That's all they care about here is saving your life. Saving lives while giving an old storyteller a chance to start a new chapter in his. Josie Sturman, ABC2 News.